boom, viewers, subscribers. Back again with these quick updates because just if you're not far from, oh, it's not credible and you don't know the thing said, people bless up on themselves. But let's get straight into this. Spice the on TMC Live. And the people them say, are because of Shaggy and Sean Paul is um, a police officer has gone viral for daggering a female pedestrian at a party. And he is in trouble with the soup. Sissy I said also Jada Kingdom opens up about the breakup that we said happened yesterday. Cause we know we did a um review on the girl saying Jada break her heart and all of these things, you know. Also Barbara is back in the news again because the sender say Wanna get it wrong in the comment section. You see me, but before we get into anything else, because all the American Navy girl get Papa Yard, is me, I say, hit the like button from now and share, be truly appreciated. Okay, people, I'm having mixed feelings about um what's being said out there about this police officer that got caught daggering a female over on the service vehicle, is me, I say. So while we read, um, while I read the article for one and I take a look at the video and when I can draw for a conclusion and we'll meet in the comment section. So like I said, a policeman gone viral on social media for daggering a girl on the service vehicle, you know, and the video was reportedly shot by a resident from the Kingston West End Division where the policeman is believed to be stationed. It was reportedly taken recently when the cops visited what seemed to be a small gathering where the music was being played. The footage shows two policemen alighting from the service vehicle. A woman then proceeded to stand in front of the lawman on the left side of the car and began dancing on him. As she raised one leg and placed it on his shoulder, the officer is video engaged in the dance. At one point, the video shows the policeman leaning her up against the service vehicle as he continued the daggering, much to the delight of the curious onlookers who laughed and cheered him on. And they are quoted saying in the video, in my idiot, how can you be in uniform working and doing that? One man commented on the viral footage. In the no sense, another user was adamant that the police force had gone to dogs and questioned if this is what policing had come to in Jamaica. He could have easily walked away, he suggested. Still, there were others who, while admitting the policeman could have acted more professionally, said they did not see anything wrong with it. He is building trust with the residents. Them just a whole of vibes, nothing wrong with that, um, said one man. Another viewer agreed with him. This is one of the most effective forms of community policing, he said. From now, any information in one, him can get. And in the meantime, the Corporate Communications Unit, um, Communication Arm of Jamaica and JCF, confirmed that the police high command has seen the video and says they are awaiting instruction from the inspectorate of the constabulary as to how to proceed with the possibly disciplinary action honestly people i don't see nothing wrong you know he's out there serving and protecting you see me i say and it's in his culture his nature to dagger woman you see me we see many police officers drive through community and stop and exit the service vehicle and play sports with the neighborhood kids whether shooting basketball or or, or boxing you know what i mean i miss some policeman a jump rope with Pitney and all of these things, you see me, I say. And it's not the first time that a police officer has engaged in these type of activities, whether in Jamaica or in America, because you know when party I keep, like East End Day Parkway, you know, the girl them always a wine off, the cop them cocky, you see me, I say. So, I don't know, that's just my opinion, you know what I mean? Putting out a comment section what you think. Now, the other day, me see. A few people in dance hall have post this story straight out of Connecticut, Bridgeport to be exact, that a 36-year-old man has been killed in Bridgeport, like I said, by shooting, you know. His name was Andre Brown, you see me, I say, and these are some of the, the articles out there upon the situation, you see me, I say. As they say, minutes after 10 p.m., officers responded to the 100 block of Marcel Street for a report of person shot. Captain Kevin Gillilin heard of the heard of the detective bureau head of the detective bureau said arriving units found the victim in the front yard of you know the residence and was taken to the hospital where he later died. You see me I said and it appears to be an isolated incident where the victim knew the suspect. And we're gonna get into the suspect which is the baby mother, you know 
Why, people? Where down the street, the baby mother shot him five times. You see me, I said. She, fought, she shot him five times. You see me, and I said, baby mother. So, you know, them have you together. So, you know, the child is fatherless right now. You see me? Um, I didn't hear of no cases of domestic violence. You see me, I said. The only thing me hear said, a man... You know, tell the bee, say, yo, it's over, you see me, I say, she let her five and I, you see me. Um, I don't know if he was leaving her for another woman or not, and they can't put that in the comment section. But that's what caused his death, you know, him ending the relationship, you see me, I say. Boy, 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 people, it's never that serious to take somebody's life over. A failed relationship, you know, especially if you have kids, you see me, I say. Mama could I easily walk away, you see me, and me don't know if she's gonna be found innocent in this, cause you know them say crime or passion or love pressure and crime and all of these things, but you know, as I right now the the child fatherless and more to be motherless if she convicted, you know. A sad situation, people, very sad situation, and I lie to you. But I'm not give you them update from what I go on, from what I go on. And speaking about um, shootings, why people may not lie? Me used to think so, the party them safe at Jamaica, you know, because in America, I mean, you go to one of these parties, man, and I'm talking about these Jamaican parties, because obviously, at them party them me I go, you know. You know, whether them Yankee people are not there, they are whatever, you know what I mean? Um, it's always bound to get shot up, you see me, I say. I mean, used to think so, yo, they don't do that thing back home, you know what I mean? When party done, everybody got in them yard, but as you can see in front of you, a U.S. Navy veteran was shot at a party in St. Anne, and she seeks help to pay for medical flight home. Camille Carter-Jones and her husband, Christy Jones, were on holiday in in their native homeland, Jamaica, when tragedy struck after midnight on Monday, December 27. Carter Jones, among five persons, shot after gunman opened fire at a party, later resulting in the death of two persons, 23-year-old Tamara Kelly of Old Fali Discovery Bay and 21-year-old Rajay Linton of Trelawney. You see me, I Why, people... I don't know what I'm going for my day, you know, about beer people I get pop a birthday party and all of these things. You see me, we see them to get shot in our leg with there, yeah, you know, I know where I see them things, you see me, I say, but I'm surprised that the, the Americans, I'm talking about, you know, that the army and the military hasn't um, come for their own, you see me, I say, but I'm just going to give you that update from what I want, from what not I want. Now, yesterday or so, we did a review saying that Jada Kingdom broke up with her girlfriend. Because, you know, she said she was a lesbian, my dear, you know. And we did a review and we said what the girlfriend said, you know. She said that Jada broke her heart and all of these things and things. Well, it seems like Jada Kingdom is open, I'm not opening up about the split. And she had this to say, it hurts even when, it hurts even worse when you know. That you're innocent. Why, 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 why? And then she put this broken heart. You feel me? Why, 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 why? Why do lesbians hate men but be in lesbian relationship and get treated like shit? <laughs> it's obviously the man them is not the problem. But I'm not putting no blame on nobody. You feel me? But she also said this. I deserved... What I deserve love, real love, and it will be before I die. I'm claiming it. Say this to yourself, Dolly boy, people. Jada Kingdom, my mad girl, you know me now. I lie to you, you know, you see me, I say, but me know, so I give you that update then. After we do the review with the girl saying that, you know, Jada broke our heart, Jada said, I know fear I fought, you see me? This is not so, I'm pretty sure most of you know by now Spice was on TMZ Live. You feel what I'm saying? I uh, made it up on the road when she did live, so I didn't get to record it um, live. <laughs> Big up my sender, them, you know what I mean? 
big up me sending them for sending me that she was live and things and things. But nevertheless, she posted it. And, you know, she's pretty much said the same thing that she said on Wendy Williams and Jimmy Kimball, you know. From homeless to greatness, you know, um, 20 years in other business, all of these things and whatnot and what for it, you feel what I'm saying? So you don't know the things that people, the Grammys look like it might be postponed um, because of, you know, what's been happening in the world, you know. So I don't know when it's going to be aired, but we are going to say who are going to win, you know, and not too much people is happy with spice as you can see in my comment section you have some people throwing up the blue heart but you know people is saying that it's because shaggy and sean paul why she dip on tmz live because nobody no know her anyway i'm just a messenger don't forget to comment but the police daggering the woman and you know the navy gal being shot and jada break up and you know spice tmz and all of these things oh before i forget my sender wants to clear, uh, clarify certain things because they said that you guys got them misconfused, you know, are confused. So they said, I think in the comment section, they didn't get the point. Barbara was the best dress, yes, but what I was pointing out, why couldn't Shensia provide the dancers with an outfit? You feel I'm saying? I'm mean, not lie, people. On a robot, the sender left, right, and center, yes, I said, because on a confused on what was written, you know. And this is what we did the post, you know, Bob, I had on this outfit in 2020, the same outfit in Shensi, a music video. Wow, they couldn't buy her an outfit, you feel me? And I can see where the confusion um was brought in, you know. Maybe she should have been more specific with who should have bought the outfit. But, you know, the person is just going in line of what's being said out there. Because, you know, them say pretty TC and rebel. Them flop themselves, you see me, I say, because of the dressing and thing, you know. But nevertheless, people, don't forget to like, share, subscribe. I hit the notification bell because Ronya say get the latest in a dance on news, musical reviews, and gossips. Bless.